Today we're in Hosea chapter 9. And Hosea is, is bringing the word of the Lord to Israel. And listen to what he says in, in just verse 1. I want to read it for you. He says, Do not rejoice, O Israel, with joy like other peoples. He tells them not to rejoice. Israel, don't be joyful. Don't rejoice in the Lord. We're, we're called to rejoice, it seems like, all through the scripture. In fact, in Philippians chapter 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. But here, well, the warning, the, the saying from the prophet is, hey, no more rejoicing. And the reason is, well, they have been trusting in foreign gods. They have been committing idolatry on the threshing floor, it says. And the reason the threshing floor is because they were trusting these foreign gods to give them a great harvest, to bring prosperity, to bring uh, times of joy into their life. And so they think they can go any way they want to, serve any God they want to, and still serve the God of the universe, Yahweh. But Hosea steps into the picture and says, don't rejoice. They have practiced idolatry. And so God's going to deal with them. God's going to come after them in a very severe way. This is how they respond. Israel knows that the prophet is a fool, that the spiritual man is insane. So when Israel is confronted with the truth about their idolatry, about their worshiping false gods, instead of accepting the truth, instead of embracing and repenting, they say the prophet's a fool. They say that he's insane. And I think it's pretty common for people when they are found out or when they're confronted by the truth that they like to turn it upside down and blame the other person. Oh, the prophet's a fool, oh, the prophet's insane. Or that this is not truth. I, I think we see a lot of that in our culture today where people hear the truth, but they deny the truth. And they say that, you know, oh, the Bible's outdated, oh, that's not that's not how we live today or that's that's from another generation whatever whatever the thing are are that's foolish and basically that's what they're saying that the word of the lord is foolish and i think in some ways you can look at our culture today and see how far we've drifted from the truth and in many ways like israel we've said well the word of god is insane the word of god is is foolish but it's not and God's going to deal with the people of Israel, and God's always going to establish his truth in the midst of everything he does. So he says to Israel, stop your rejoicing, stop your parting. You've drifted far from me. And God is going to deal with those who call the truth insane or look at his word as foolish. <music>